this presentation I'm going to show you how to uh, calculate the discount on the notes receivable and how to uh, allocate its interest expense. So let's look at the example here where we got four equal payments at the end of each of the next four years for either notes receivable or payable and what we have to do here is we have to discount these four payments back to their present value at the beginning of year one here so we do that uh, did that through an excel function here and we determine that there's annuity payments discount back where their present value was thirty one hundred and seventy dollars so that represents our principal amount here on our notes receivable or payable now we had received where we will receive four equal payments of a thousand dollars for a total amount of four thousand dollars and then we subtract out our present present value of those payments uh, four thousand dollars minus thirty one seventy and we get uh, interest revenue or expense that we have to amortize over that notes payable or receivable and in this case it would be eight hundred and thirty dollars so let's go up here and see how we do that so in our amortization schedule here we would start out with a beginning balance of thirty one hundred and seventy dollars now that's the present value of the notes receivable or payable and then for the year we would uh, pay uh, uh, ten percent interest on that balance here so that ten percent times thirty one seventy gives us three hundred and seventeen dollars worth of interest for the year now we had a a payment either receipt, receipt or payable here of one thousand dollars at the end of the year end of the first year now that payment includes an interest the interest receivable or payable plus its principal uh, portion of that payment so if we subtract here the interest from the payment amount here of one thousand dollars we end up with a principal amount for the year of six hundred eighty three dollars now we reduce that uh, beginning balance here the beginning of year one for by that principal amount that we uh, redu where we reduce our notes payable or receivable by for the year and we end up with an ending balance of twenty four hundred and eighty six dollars so this uh, ending balance becomes the beginning balance of the next year where we calculate our interest expense by taking ten percent times it and we get an interest expense here or receivable or payable of two hundred and forty eight dollars now if we subtract that interest portion from the payment amount we end up with the principal uh, on for that for the year that we're going to either receive or pay so we'll take this principal amount uh, from minus or uh, subtract that from the beginning balance and we end up with uh, the next year's balance here in the principal and then we just continue on use, uh, calculating our interest and then subtracting that interest from our payment amount and then we reduce and in, include that as the that would balance the difference would be the principal here so when we end up with this uh, accounts receivable or payable we have made four payments here and when we've accumulated our interest here of eight hundred and thirty dollars and then we've had an accumulated amount of principal paid and that leaves us here with a balance of zero dollars on any more payments that we're going to receive so we have the eight hundred and thirty dollars accumulate uh, cumulative interest plus the uh, thirty one hundred and seventy dollars of uh, principal paid and that represents the four thousand dollars worth of uh, uh, payments we've made here four thousand dollars worth of payments so that's how we'd amortize uh, the um, discount uh, on our notes receivable or payable and what we're talking about here in that discount is this uh, interest expense here here I'm going to show you how to record the journal entries on this notes receivable with a discount now I have them laid out here I got the balance sheet items here and the income statement items here so let's look at this notes receivable I uh, initially we recorded it at four thousand dollars and then we had four uh, payments here at the end of each of the four years so we would reduce our notes receivable by those payments and then we'd increase our cash account by those uh, payments received here and then 
Uh, here we have to also put down a discount as a contra account to the notes receivable when because uh, we have to account for the four thousand dollars here versus its thirty one hundred and seventy dollar present value so you take the four thousand uh, dollars less eight hundred and thirty dollars here and you get a balance of thirty one hundred seventy so this discount uh, amount would be eight hundred and thirty dollars that's that interest that we had to allocate so we uh, credit our uh, discount here or increase that by $830 and then for each year we uh, reduce that discount by the interest earned on that notes receivable. Now if we go over here the balancing entries would be for year one we record the present value of that notes receivable here for $3170 and then we uh, uh, also include our inter uh, interest revenues that we've earned here uh, over the uh, period of that uh, notes receivable. So we end up with $4,000 here. Now that would include this $830 worth of interest uh, revenue that we allocated plus the uh, $3,170 its present value. So everything balances out here. Our service revenues of $4,000 match our notes receivable here of $4,000. And this is how we uh, use the uh, allocate the discount on a notes receivable and how we'd record the notes receivable when we use that discounting here.